Chroma key, also known as green or blue screen, is a film technique used to combine two or more layers of film into one. Though relatively easy to do now with the aid of digital video editing systems, the technique used to be quite difficult to accomplish. Much of the development of Chroma Key can be credited to Linwood G. Dunn, a special effects master who worked primarily with RKO pictures. Prior to the invention of Chroma Key, Dunn implemented optical effects such as rear projection that were used to superimpose actors over filmed backgrounds, such as in 1933's King Kong. The first film to use composite imaging in color was in The Thief of Baghdad, a film made in 1940 by RKO Pictures. In the early days of chroma key, the effect was expensive, difficult, and time-consuming to pull off. Rear projection was still being used in films during the 1950s, such as Alfred Hitchcock's North by Northwest, and Stanley Kubrick chose matte paintings over the technique to create the effects in 2001, A Space Odyssey. It wasn't until the late 70s and early 80s that technology advanced enough to allow filmmakers to create complex, moving composites. Computer-controlled cameras enabled both the foreground and background images to be filmed with identical movements, allowing the shots to be synchronized. This innovation was pioneered by industrial light and magic effects engineer Richard Edlund while working on The Empire Strikes Back. Let's take a look at some of the basic steps we can take to create the chroma key effect for ourselves. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. As you can see, I'm using a green piece of fabric for my green screen. As you can see, we've got wrinkles in our fabric that need to be ironed out. If any of these show up during the lighting, it's going to cause problems down the road when we want to edit this and add the chroma key effect to our movie. So I've been at this for about an hour and I think it's looking pretty good about now. Oh, Joey, I think that's looking pretty good. Let's go hang this up. Sounds good, David. Let's get the room set up. Alright, this is it. This is my bedroom, and this is where we're going to create my green screen studio. Now, a couple of things before we get started. The closet doors here with the mirrors on it, this is the biggest wall I have without moving furniture around. So we're going to have to cover all of this up with a white sheet before we put the green screen over top of it. Otherwise, the light's going to bounce through the mirror, back to the camera, and that's going to break the illusion, just like having a wrinkle or a shadow on the green screen would. But I think we should get started on this one. David, get in here. Let's get to it. All right. We're making some progress on this, but we still got some wrinkles that we're gonna have to tighten out the fabric to get rid of those. So this is where the really tricky part in green screening comes in. This needs to be perfectly still, otherwise it's gonna wreck it, just like I've been saying. So <laughs> wrinkles out of the green screen we only have one step left before we can actually get filming and what's that lighting as you can see with some creative lighting and a bit of luck we have managed to get our green screen the tone that we want it to be we've got the green screen ready we've got the lighting all set to go now we can finally get ready to film this now we don't need to worry about the green screen not extending far enough to either side of me or above me because we can just crop those parts in during the editing. Quiet on the set, action. Hold on a second, we're still not done editing our movie. I haven't added the chroma key effect yet to the footage we shot of me in front of the green screen. I'm gonna do that right now and show you how. 
The program we're using to edit this is Final Cut Studio for the Mac. It's relatively easy to use. First, we're going to put a clip into the timeline, and we're going to want to put it onto a separate video layer. This is going to be the top layer of our video. We're going to want to put our matte or secondary layer underneath this. When we add the chroma key effect, we're going to be able to see that layer underneath the green, but we can't do that quite yet. To add the effect, we go to Effects, Key, and then Chroma Key. We're going to want to apply this to the topmost layer where I'm the cowboy. Once we apply this, you'll notice that the green hasn't gone away yet. We still have to play with the effect a bit more. We can do this in the effects control panels. Here, we got the spectrum of green, and right now we're not on the right one. We need to broaden it a bit at the bottom and the top there, and this is going to get rid of the background for us. Now, it's still not perfect. It's going to be a little jagged around the edges, so we're going to eventually have to smooth this out. We can do this down below here. Now, let's have a look at the video again with a bit of music, foley, and some filters applied to it. I think it'll look pretty good. Quiet on the set. Action. Well, that looked pretty good. I'm going to go check on David in the green screen room to see how he's doing. Wow, David, that was so cool learning everything about green screening today, wasn't it? Sure was. Man, what are we going to learn next week? I don't know. <laughs> Me neither, because school's out.